So at the beginning where I got my website, um, I tried to make a Java program where I could access the database. Um, so I could, um, for instance, use all the stored uh, login information and login through my database using a Java program. I tried some things out and connecting to the database, but I kept getting errors and saying that I just couldn't connect. So I wrote to my um, web hosting and asked why I couldn't do that. And they said they've delete uh, not deleted, they've disabled that function so you can um, access it through external uh, external uh, programs other than the HTML in the server itself. Um, and they did that because of security reasons. Um, but I found a way to 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 do that to still do that, and I just found out so. I, just made a little quick, uh, a little program uh, showing it. So, if you go onto my site, for instance, and click the sign up button and write your username, password, password, email, it's going to close it. Run this program, and I've just set so it p writes my username and password at the start, and then you press connect. It connects to the website and in the status it says connecting and the information but it happens it's going to happen so fast so I'm probably not even going to notice it and then in the email it's going to pop up with my email which it's get from the actual database on my website it's going to press connect and you can see right now it says um, it writes my email so for instance I could use this as a login system for game or something like that and that's just yeah that's just awesome so if you think like this uh, it's a program you need to buy then when you log in first of all it checks if the user exists if the, if the user exists it checks for um they have if they have permission uh for running that uh, program or game or whatever it is and then if they've got permission then it, they're going to continue and if they don't got permission then it's just going to tell hey you don't have permission that you need to buy it or whatever so if I just remove the e from my username it's just going to say nothing because it can can connect and it actually returns uh, or not it returns but it actually returns an error that's the reason that it or not yeah it returns an error in the background and the same for the password if I just change it then it can't connect see um we can try, try with another user one of my friends and you can see it right now it says he is email and it just got it from my site why isn't it open? yeah it just got it from my site right here from the database where you log in so that's just that's just awesome but yeah just a quick update of what I've just accomplished today um, and I was really excited about it, but yeah, I have nothing more to say, so see ya.